Your helpful guide to cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a very fatal disease that mainly causes motor impairment that may damage the brain. This results in the symptoms of mental retardation that can be seen in young children. These children with mental disabilities have to face serious problems in interaction with their parents and society. The main causes of cerebral palsy in newborn babies. The actual cause of cerebral palsy is still unknown to the medical world. As a result, doctors are unable to find out what is causing cerebral palsy in most young children. Some feel that congenital malformations in body systems such as kidneys, heart or spine may be responsible for developing cerebral palsy as they may also have a malformation in their brain. Cerebral palsy can be found in many infant babies, caused due to the seizures done at the time of their birth. Doctors also feel that prematurity in newborn babies and below birth weight can also be the causes of cerebral palsy. Consuming different intoxicating drugs, smoking cigarettes, and drinking alcoholic substances by a pregnant mother sometimes can also lead to the malformation of the brain of her baby. These infants whose mothers have consumed intoxicating drugs during their pregnancy mostly develop mental retardation rather than cerebral palsy. Human immunodeficiency virus that causes AIDS is also responsible for the brain damage that leads to mental retardation. Nowadays with some sophisticated scans, it can easily detect cerebral palsy in newborn babies very easily. The different types of cerebral palsy are of different types and can be classified according to the type of movement problem or it can be classified by the involvement of body parts. Pastic or athetoid cerebral palsy is included in the classification according to the type of movement and hemiplegia, diplegia, and quadriplegia are the different types of cerebral palsy that include the classification according to the involvement of body parts. In spasticity the muscles are unable to relax, while in athetosis the patient is unable to control the movement of a muscle. Hemiplegia, diplegia, and quadriplegia are the extremes of this cerebral palsy disease. What is the future of these children with cerebral palsy? The parent of these children with cerebral palsy has to take excessive care of their children in a very realistic way. A combination of optimism and realism must be maintained by the parent of these children to hold a better future. The parent's expectations should not be unrealistic i.e. they must understand the child's present and future abilities. The parents have to set the most realistic goal for their children.